Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about public, the app, and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to open an account with public. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And if you're not familiar with public, it's definitely one of the more popular investing apps right now because it has more of a social media function to it. And it's all handled here in the app. It's as white and it looks like a couple of purple dots. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave my referral there, but I'm going to open up my public app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up the public app and this is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you would like to open a new public account, you wanna choose one of these buttons, either get started or I have a code. The I have a code is a referral code. Sometimes they run promotions where you get something extra and so do I if you use my code. So be sure to check my video description. But for this video, I'm just going to click get started. Next, you get to choose which company you would like a free slice of stock by signing up with public. So for me, I'm not too sure who this company is, SP. DR, so I'll choose them. Okay, I went ahead and chose them and it looks like it's an ETF trust SPY. That's fine. I'll go ahead and click next. Next, they're letting you know that they need to ask a few questions and these questions are required by law before we can start investing. So I'll go ahead and click this next button. Okay, next public is asking for my cell phone number. I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, I went ahead and entered my phone number. I'm going to click next. Okay, next public did send a confirmation code to my cell phone. So I'm just going to enter that code in here. Next, they're asking for my name and they do let you know it will be shown on your profile. But again, public is more of like a social media place for trading. So I'm going to enter my name and then choose a username. Okay, I went ahead and put in my username. I'm going to click next. All right, next they are asking for my email address and to create a password. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, I went ahead and entered in a password. I'm clicking next. Next, you can go ahead and add a profile photo if you choose to do so. For me, I don't really like to do that. So I'm going to click next. Next, they're asking if I would like to enable notifications. I don't really like to do that. So I'm going to skip for now. You can if you choose to do so. Okay, so it looks like my profile has already been set up. Now they're asking me to set up my investing application. This is a pretty normal process, whether you're signing up for companies like Robinhood or Webull, you do have to apply to open an invest account. So I'm going to do that right now and click continue. Next, they're asking for my birthday. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, I'm clicking next. Next, they're asking if you are a US citizen. So I'll go ahead, yes. Next, they're asking for my marital status. Next, they will ask you how many dependents you have. This includes children or another qualifying relative. And then once again, a very typical question, are you any of these particular things, a politically exposed person employed by another brokerage or 10% shareholder or senior executive at a traded company? None of these apply to me. So I click none. Next, they're asking for your employment status. Okay. Now they are asking where I work, job title is. Okay. So I enter that in. I'm going to click next. All right. Next, they're asking for my permanent address. Usually this has to be your physical. I'm going to enter that in off screen. All right. Next, they're asking for my legal name that is on my driver's license. So I'm going to enter that in and off screen. All right, next they're asking for my social security number, which seems kind of strange, I know, but this is a really normal thing when you are opening an investing account with public. So I'm entering my social off screen. All right, next you get the terms and conditions for using public. So be sure to read through that. If you agree to it, go ahead and click this blue agree button. All right, my application is being submitted. All right, next they're asking me what my investment goals are. So you can go ahead and just choose one that applies to you. Next they're asking how much experience I have as investor. So I'm definitely not an expert, so I'll just put, I know what I'm doing. Next they're gonna ask me what my yearly income is. All right. Next, they're asking what my estimated net worth is. Now they're asking what the total value of my cash and liquid investment is. All right. Next, in order for me to get my free stock, I have to fund the account to claim the free stock. So we're going to work on that by clicking next. Okay. So you have these different options to fund your account. Debit card, that's pretty self-explanatory. You would just put in your debit card. You can also link your bank. When you link your bank, you can go ahead and deposit funds into your public account, but you can also withdraw from that same bank account, which you cannot do with a debit card. You can do wire transfers as well. If it's going to be a large amount, uh, just keep in mind there are usually fees attached with that and then micro deposits this is where they set up an ACH function onto your bank so you would need to verify two different transactions but that can take five to seven day to connect your bank so for me I'm just going to use my debit card and I'm gonna click next okay next they're letting me know that the debit card I'm using has to be connected to a bank account that is under my name so I put my name there and then you want to put in your debit card number CVC number expiration date and zip code I'm going to enter in all that information in off screen okay guys I went ahead and entered in all the requirements required information, I'm going to click continue. All right next, I got this confirmation that my debit card has been linked and I can use it to deposit money into my public account and invest stocks. So I'm clicking done. Okay, now they're asking me how much I would like to transfer into public. So, so for my initial funding, I'm just going to transfer $100 and I'm going to click continue. All right next, they're confirming before I submit it, $100 deposited into my public account using my debit card. All that looks good, go ahead and click continue. All right next, it says that my deposit has been scheduled and they're going to deposit the $100 from 
my debit card as soon as my investing application has been approved. Also, they let you know you want to make sure that you have that money in your bank account because they will be withdrawing it at a later time. And if they go to remove the money from your bank, it's not available. You could end up getting fees. So just make sure that money is there. So I'll click on done. Now they're asking me to pick my interest because again, it's similar to Facebook. So they're going to try to look for interesting people for me to follow technology innovation. And then I'll click on build my feed. Okay. So they automatically had me follow public live and then Willa, the investor. And just like other social media platforms, you can unfollow these people at a later time. But let me go ahead and click on check it out. Okay. And it just brought me right here to the home screen on public. And now that is how you can open an account with public. Now you will receive a confirmation email from public once your account has been approved. I received that email while we were doing this video. So let me go ahead and switch over to my email and show you what that looks like. Okay. So as you can see right here, you get this email saying you are approved to invest. So now I can go ahead and begin trading. Let me switch back over to my public account. Okay. So I switched back over to my public account. And then if you want to go ahead and start searching for stocks to purchase, you can go ahead and just click on that search function. And then up here, you can just scroll through and look through different themes and different stocks you can invest in, or you can use the search function right here. Once you get to the stock that you want to purchase, you can go ahead and just start by clicking on this invest. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking to open a public account for stock invest, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.